So today I was listening to Spotify and I came across a radio station that was 90s music. I was born in the 90s so I was listening to stuff like Barbie Girl, The Spice Girls, Hanson. Oh wow. These songs made me feel really nostalgic so I thought I'd take you guys on a little adventure into my attic. I'm going to attempt to walk up the ladder with one hand. It's probably not the best idea but Oh, I found my number one fan. See, guys, I do have fans. I keep them in my loft. So I'm in my attic and there is a lot of stuff up here, as you can see. Now I'm very rarely allowed in the loft, even though I always want to come up here because it holds all the things that my childhood had. For example, Polly Pockets. Now if you're a girl from the 90s, you most likely had one of these because this was my most played of toy. Just look at it, little swings and everything, which, ugh, bit dusty now though. And not forgetting Play-Doh. Ah, oh, seriously, I used to try and eat this when I was younger because I loved the taste of salt and it just smells like it should be edible. Ew. I just found my baby shoes. Look how cute they are. Look how small my feet used to be in comparison to now. It's just like, no. I had really good fashion sense. My childhood would not be complete without a Barbie. I'm pretty sure this one's Cindy. Um, my mum actually threw away all of my Barbies. I had boxes full of them and then she just got rid of them. Oh, this is weird. This Barbie, ew. You can crack its leg. That's disgusting. She's also got plaster on her ankle because I obviously made the bitch fall over and it's a bit gross now. I, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. Also, if you are wondering what that was, this is one of my paintings from college that I did and all my artwork lives in the loft now. She doesn't have a face because I couldn't really draw faces very well. This is another one of my paintings that I did. Um, I, yeah. I like drawing women. Let's have a little nosy at other things. Um, I don't know why we've got loads of milk bottles, but these are like loads of retro ones that sort of were here when we moved house. Um, and then I found out they're worth about £20 each and they're just here collecting dust. But they're cool. Christmas cards because, oh my god, I am falling through the floor. Oh, that's not safe. Mom! Then we've got Big Bear, and yes, that's his name, Big Bear, because he's a bear and he's quite big. Um, it's really funny because he got loved so much that his head went really floppy, and it's fun doing that. It's like, I should put some dubstep over this. And then there's a black bag full of cubby toys, and Bingo, yeah, that's his name, don't judge me. Bingo just looks like a homeless tramp teddy bear, but... Big stories about Bingo. Come on. Oh, it's like giving birth. <laughs> Bingo was one of my favourite bears as a child. He has been to Greece with me. He he was awesome. Rainbow dinosaur. I was the coolest kid around with this. Um, and he used to squeak, but I don't think he does anymore. I think I like squeaked him to death. Yep, he's not white. Talk to me. Now, this wasn't mine, but I remember always wanting it and now it's here and my brother's moved out now so I'm thinking that maybe I can steal this perhaps and he won't notice. Ooh, a hula hoop. I used to be awesome at hula hooping. I will show you my hula hooping skills at the end of the video. I don't think anything else in here is actually mine so let's go. Let's go. Yep, without stepping in holes. Um, okay. Oh, right. Bear with me because oh, I'm not scared of heights, but this ladder is just like crazy, crazy ladder. Whoa! Just gotta try not to like drop my cow. Well, hello there. So here's the promised hula hooping. I know I'm very skillful. If you want to subscribe, please do that, and don't forget to thumb me because that's always enjoyable. And leave a comment if you want to. Yeah. Bye.